Uh, hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at IP addresses and DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System or Domain Name Service. Uh, it consists of 13 root servers uh, that are dispersed around the world that take care of all the requests uh, for you to be able to connect to any uh, domain or any uh, any major company that has a domain, uh, such as uh, msn.com, yahoo.com, google.com, any of the any any website. Uh, websites have IP addresses associated with them. Uh, computers connect using the IP address. But to help us not have to remember all those different IP addresses, all we need to do is put in the name of the domain, such as apple.com. Then it's the responsibility of DNS to translate that back into the IP address so the computer can connect. Now there are 13 of these root servers scattered again around the world and they are a very very large database with high bandwidth that allows us to connect. If we were to lose these servers the internet uh, would not function. Now to find your IP address uh, go down to your start button, click on start, go to run, type in CMD and press enter and you'll have a box or a terminal screen that shows up here. Type in IP config, C-O-N-F-I-G. That's IP, C-O-N-F-I-G. Press enter and you'll get the following displayed. You'll have your IP address. The IP address of this computer is 192.168.1.6. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. And the default gateway, 192.168.1.1. Uh, now the IP address is how this uh, computer is able to connect to the network. The subnet mask uh, shows me that 192.168.1 is the network portion of that address. And the number 6 is what we call the host portion. The number 6 is unique to each computer that's connected to this particular network. The 192.168.1 is the network address for all the computers. That is uh, determined by the subnet mask. Now the default gateway 192.168.1.1 is my connection uh, to the internet or to the rest of the computers. That's usually a router that routes all the information from one computer to the next. Do one more thing. I wanted to uh, type in ping. Let me go ahead and use my ping commands, ping utility. Ping is used for uh, determining if there's other devices, computers, routers, whatever, that are on the network. And all we need to do is ping their IP address to get a response. I can ping uh, this computer here, or I can ping also 127.0.0.1. Press Enter. Really, this is just checking my, that my uh, network connection is working, and it's just kind of looping it back through my computer. Now I want to ping an outside entity like Apple, apple.com, press enter, and right away DNS supplies me Apple's IP address. Apple's IP address is 17.149.168.49. Uh, again, the computer cannot connect to apple.com, doesn't know what that means, but DNS provides the IP address, and then the IP address is used to try, try to connect. You can see I'm getting some uh, requests timed out. So ping is being blocked by Apple. Let's try another one. Let's try Google. Ping Google.com. Press enter. Right away you can see that my ping requests are, are going to Google and returning. Uh, 68 milliseconds, 71 milliseconds, 68, 72. So Google isn't blocking the ping. Some companies, uh, through their security, are blocking the ping because ping can be used to determine uh, what routers or what servers are available uh, for a possible attack. Uh, but there's other ways of exploring networks besides using ping. But ping now is probably being blocked by most companies, but you can see Google's not really too concerned about it. So that's uh, that's it for the DNS portion of this. Thank you very much. Bye.